<laughs> What's up, guys? Puck Mike here, back with another video. And today I got some random sports memorabilia that I want to show you, as well as open some cards. Got a 1997 Oilers, Edmonton Oilers uh, tin here, as well as a recent Young Guns purchase that I made on eBay that I have not opened this yet. So wanted to open that on eBay uh, so you could see my reaction. Hopefully my reaction is good because... Took a risk uh, paying $94 US for this Young Guns card that I didn't pull from the box. But uh, sports memorabilia, let's see, what could I show you here? So took a little trip back home lately. Uh, you know, I'm a Penguins fan. So came across these lovely manual, uh, manuals, goodness, uh, goodness, um, game, uh, whatever you call them, game things, magazine things, whatever, uh, from nine. So this one here from the game, January 31st. 2001, if you can see it there, uh, against the Flyers. Penguins actually lost 5-1. to one. Lemieux had the goal, but lots of penalty minutes that game. I think Steve McKenna had 10-minute game misconduct, lots of roughing penalties. You would expect that from the Philadelphia Flyers and the Pittsburgh Penguins, right? But super cool going through these, looking at some of these names. I'm like, goodness, look at the you know, Darius Kasparaitis on there. Bob Bugner, got Lemieux and Yager. So I thought those were pretty cool. I actually got like three of those. And then this one, I got another one here. This is from um, December 11th, 1999 versus Coyotes. They actually won that game 4-2. to two. Yager had two goals, one assist. This is actually in really good condition. So I thought about maybe selling these on eBay, but, I mean, they're kind of cool to have for my collection. So I don't know. Might hold on to them. Who knows? But grew up going to the games all the time, guys. Uh, that's why I'm a huge Penguins fan. But I watched them. Went to the games. Um, big part of my childhood. So thought those were kind of cool to share. Um, let's open some cards. How about that? So picked up this little thing at a... It's a local bookstore. And it actually has a bunch of like toys and like sports. It started having like sports stuff too. So I noticed this. Snagged it up right away. Right after someone came up to me and said, Where'd you get that Oilers tin? Um, so glad I got there and got this. KB Toys. I think they closed like in the late 90s. I don't know. Um, tried to open this in the store. I was like, uh, to see what's inside. Is there actually cards in here? I think it's still sealed. So within here, um, there's um, some inserts here you can get. If you can see that. Um, Stand-up guys, that's pretty much all the cards. But there's uh, the most rare would be the exclusive collection. One in 57 packs. And there are some of those actually up on... Um, eBay, this would only be Edmonton Oilers cards, obviously, but there's one for every team, I believe. Um, so, yeah, which was Penguins, but it's not. But let's open it up and see um, what's in here. Probably going to maybe get like a Curtis Joseph. I don't even know, honestly, how you open this freaking thing. So, okay, that was ridiculous. I literally had to use a can opener to open this thing. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do since it is kind of just a can, I guess. Okay, there's some Montreal Canadiens in here. I thought that the fact that it was a Edmonton Oilers tin meant that there would be Edmonton Oilers only cards in here, but I'm really not that familiar with this product, so I have no idea. Is that a Jose Theodore of the Montreal Canadiens? I think that's yeah, Jose Theodore. There's a channel I watch, a uh, new hockey news channel guy of, I think he's out of Vancouver. He just did a video on <clears throat> Jose Theodore. I'll have to pop that up in the corner if you're interested in that. Eddie Bell for, so this is like a bunch of goalies, and it's definitely not all Edmonton players. So maybe that gives me some hope that there will be some penguins in here, or some kind of inserts. Um, we got a backwards Grant Fuhrer. Not bad. These are like all goaltenders. Nice. Another one here. This looks like uh, um, it's a Steve Shield. Okay, it's not an insert. I thought it was maybe an insert. It's just the colors. Some of them are fooling me. Ken Reggett. All right. That is really cool for the Penguins collection. I am definitely going to um, keep that one. That is really cool. Archer's Urbe. Is this like a goalies collection? Did I miss something here? Okay, there we go. Maybe each pack has like a certain amount of goalies or something. Uh, okay, we got a Rick Tockett. All right, Tony Granado. Let's go through these here. They're every which way, of course. Um, doesn't seem like we got any exclusives or anything. Um, 
But okay, this is a, um, I guess like a checklist. What this is like a, what the heck? Okay, someone's gonna have to explain these cards to me. I mean, this is, I guess you're supposed to do something like this. So I don't know. First can I've opened. So if you're familiar with these, uh, I'm clearly not. Leave me a comment. But saw that, had to pick it up. It was like three bucks, and I had some credit, so I didn't even pay for it. All right, what else we got here? Moving on, moving on. This is a book I read recently. I wanted to share this. A Guy Like Me by John Scott. John Scott, he was an enforcer in the league. I think he last played 2015-ish, 2016. Played for a bunch of different teams, but long story short, somebody made a joke about him making the All-Star Game on a podcast, and it turned out to be like everyone was like, well, let's vote him in. All the fans voted him in for the All-Star Game. Phoenix Coyotes at the time were like, we don't want you to play in the All-Star game. Uh, I guess they didn't want to look bad. I don't know. I mean, it can't be hard to make the Phoenix Coyotes look bad because they suck. But, um, yeah, and then so they traded him to Montreal. Montreal put him in the minors. Um, long story short, the NHL Players Association did some research, and they said there's really no rule that says you can't play in the All-Star game if you're in the minors. So uh, he went to the game, although he did receive a call at one point from a league executive who he doesn't mention in the book about some um, highly pressured phone call to take a vacation, don't go to the game. Then, of course, Gary Bettman met him at the All-Star game and was like, are we okay? I don't know who made that call. So, okay, yeah. Anyway, not going to be bad-mouthing Gary Bettman of the league here, but uh, seems a little suspicious. So, um, yes, this book actually made me feel bad for an enforcer in the league. How about that? But does actually cover a lot of cool stuff about him uh, really just, like it says, fighting to make the cut in the league and, and what someone who, you know, is there to be an enforcer and protect the players uh, has to go through to get on the team. So, anyway, here's the big reveal. So, uh, this is a card that I bought recently, um, Young Guns card that I was going back and forth. Should I buy it? Should I not buy it? And um, I just went ahead and bought it. It was $94 U.S., and uh, I just went in and bought it because I want it for my collection. And if you've watched my other videos, you probably know who it is. But the the picture on eBay, I studied a bunch of them on eBay. The picture was like pretty good, a few blemishes. I'm honestly, I'm not going for like a 10 here for the grading. I'm probably not even going to get it graded. So I figured why not. Let's see. How can we? Uh, is there a? Okay, there is a... Uh, I want you uh, see, to see it. All right, so we got a we got a filler on it there. All right, um, it looked really good condition, but you know some of those pictures on eBay, you can be fooled, or people use pictures that's not even their card, right? So, um, oh, I hate when they do this. Okay, if you're selling things on eBay, rule number one: you never use this tape. You always use painter's tape. Um, all right, so the big reveal. That's right, Alexei Lafreniere, Young Guns. I had to get my hands on this card, guys. Um, it, you know, I didn't pull it out of any of the boxes that I opened, but I have a good collection of Lafreniere going with some of his other cards, and I got some good inserts of him on some other sets. I have a couple of, I have like three of his set that they did, the Lafreniere collection set, so I just had to get my hand on this card before it got crazy. I think his career is starting to show some upside now, so wanted to get it while I could. Um, seems to be in okay condition. This is tape here, so um, let me see if I can get it out of this and we can actually take a look at it. Okay, so here it is out of the, out of the sleeve and out of the top, lo uh, top loader. It does have some you know, it does have a little blemish on the top there. Um, I can't remember if I noticed that or not from the picture. But, I mean, surface-wise, it, it doesn't look terrible. I'm, I'm assuming the edges would not get, you know, would not get a 10 if I graded it. Um, surface-wise, it really doesn't look that bad. Corner maybe a little bent up in that corner, but... I mean, $94 all in. That's, you know, shipping and everything, uh, U.S. So, I mean, I think it was like $82. Um, it was fairly cheap, I thought, compared to some of the other prices were ridiculous. So, I am super excited to have this card in my collection, guys, um, with my other Lafreniere cards. So, yeah, there you go. I just wanted to show you some random sports stuff I got, tell you about that book that I read, the Pinnacle Can that I um, can't seem to open. I didn't. It took me a while to open, apparently. 
and then this awesome young guns that I bought. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, do me a favor, hit like and subscribe, and I'll check you later.